Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be answering my 20 crafty questions in a craft along with me video. I hope you'll stick around, learn some more about me, and watch me make a sheet load of cards. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I put out a call a couple weeks ago to other crafty YouTubers to join me in a craft tag here on YouTube, and I am calling it 20 Crafty Questions. Everybody who is joining me, you can click on the hashtag in the description box below and go and watch all their videos. So I really hope once you're done here getting to know more about me, you'll go hop along and see everybody else's videos. For my video today, as I answer the questions, I'm going to be doing a craft along with me video. I will be using the July 2019 sheet load of cards to make 12 cards while I answer the questions and you learn a little more about me. Before I get started with my voiceover and answering the questions, I kind of wanted to go through what I'll be doing with the cards because the voiceover won't be about the process, it will be the questions and my answers to them. If you don't know what sheet load of cards is, I will link the video where I shared July's first set that I made and the link to the free printable if you're a subscriber of mine. So make sure to check that out in the description box below. Now for my cards today, I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of stamping an image or sentiment, I am actually gonna be using these tags from this 12 by 12 cut apart sheet in place of that. So I will turn my sketch to the side and then the tag will sit right there. The papers I'm gonna be using for the patterns and the tags are from the Jen Hadfield homemade line. I got these at Joann. I will be using the cut apart and then I have two sheets of this paper. You'll see it's the same thing, but I will be using this as you know, PP1 and this is PP2 in my cutting diagrams. I have already pre-made my card bases so I won't cut those or fold them on camera. And these other card stocks, they are, like I say, either for the mats of the tags or for the background strip on the card. If you do have any questions as I go along with the process, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. But until then, I say let's go ahead and start answering these questions. Question one, where does your channel name come from? Mine, Call Me Crafty Al, comes from a couple different things. First of all, years ago when I worked at Kinko's, one of my coworkers called me Al, and I just thought it was a fun nickname. I never really had one growing up. And then the second part is, if you were an MTV kid, there was a video on there with Paul Simon and Chevy Chase called You Can Call Me Al. So I thought when I created my blog years ago that you can call me Crafty Al. Question two, what type or types of crafts does your channel focus on? Here lately, mine has been about 95% card making. But when I originally started my channel like three years ago now, I started out with like pocket letters and happy mail. On occasion, I do do a haul, but it's usually always crafty related. Question three, where else do you share your creations online? Um, like I mentioned before, I do have a blog. It's called Call Me Crafty Al, and it's pretty defunct. I really don't post on it anymore now that I do YouTube. I will link it below. What I'll do is I will start a list of like links and other information, and I will separate it by question number. So in question three below will be the link to my blog. Um, other places I share my creations would be on Instagram. I am at Call Me Crafty Al. And then I also have a Pinterest account where I share my own pictures and I also pin a lot of inspirational things. Question four, how long have you been crafting? Well, I have to say ever since I can remember, I did do crafty things growing up. 
but I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But card making, I believe my sister taught me how to stamp probably 20 years ago or so. Um, for a while I was a big scrapbooker, but I don't really do that anymore now that all my photos are on my phone. But card making has my heart and yeah, it's probably been 20 years and probably more so in the last 15. Question number five. What is the first crafty item you remember making? In my mind, I remember helping my mom when I was really young making some kind of Christmas wreath out of fabric. She did all the sewing and then I remember turning the thing inside out with a dowel and helping with the polyfill. But I did a lot of different crafts when I was young and growing up. I used to cross stitch and love that. For a while I wanted to be an interior designer and I would keep my JCPenney catalogs and my Sears catalogs and wallpaper sample books in this old vintage suitcase that I called my suitcase o design. Question 6. What is your favorite type of craft? Like I mentioned earlier, it is card making right now. Question number 7. Which of your creations is currently your favorite? It would have to be two of the cards that I made as alternatives for the June 2019 paper pumpkin kit. I will pop them up on screen, but what I did is I made shakers using sand. I just love them. Question number eight. What do you do with your finished projects? Unfortunately, unless I make something for a specific reason, most of my cards just sit around in boxes in my craft room. I really wish I was better about sending them out, but I'm not. Now, if friends or family ask for a card, I give them to them. Sometimes I'll give some to my mom for, you know, her to use or for her to use at church, but otherwise they just kind of sit here. Question number nine. If you could learn a new craft or art, what would it be? If it was like a crafty art, I would love to learn how to hand letter. My handwriting is awful and I see those pretty signs and wish I could do that. Now if it was a performing art, I would love to learn how to play the guitar. Question number 10, where do you create? Right now my craft space is in the basement. I have a little over half of the area set up with my stuff and I am slowly creeping over to the other half which is Legos and Playmobil. Question number 11. What would your ultimate craft space look like? I think overall I have a pretty nice setup. I have you know nice IKEA shelving with drawers and cabinets. I would probably just like to be out of the basement in a space of my own. I would really like to have some natural daylight. Question 12. Have you ever had any crafty accidents or mishaps? You know, honestly, besides, you know, burn fingers from a glue gun, um, the biggest thing is like when I knocked over a whole box of sequins as I was trying to reorganize them. So nothing major, thank goodness. Question 13. Do you have any funny crafty stories to share? I have a couple that I'm going to share with you. They both have to do with crafting with other people. And the first one really isn't totally craft related. I had met my best friend from elementary and high school and my sister in a city that was central to all of us to get together and scrapbook and make cards for the weekend. Well, we decided to go out for a meal one time and we're at Culver's, which if you don't know it, you've got to try their cheese curds if you ever get there. And I had a little cup of ketchup that I was dipping my cheese curds into. And for some reason, my sister decided to smash my hand down into the ketchup when I went to dip my next cheese curd. And I think I looked at her probably like, what the heck? Looking back on it, I laughed, but at the time I was just completely thrown off. 
My second funny moment was when a group of friends and I were scrapbooking or cropping at Archivers probably 10 years ago. If you remember Archivers, it was just a store for scrapbooking. Unfortunately, they are not around anymore. But we were there at a crop and one of my friends was like kind of newer to crafting and I found out that she didn't have a paper trimmer and it just blew me away. So if you could imagine me like literally looking almost like Kevin from Home Alone going, you don't have a paper trimmer? It never occurred to me that not everybody had a paper trimmer. Question number 14. What is your favorite drink and or snack to have while crafting? Well, to drink, that is definitely a Diet Coke, preferably Fountain Diet Coke from McDonald's. I don't usually do a whole lot of snacking while I craft, but if I had something, it would be something on the sugary side like Starburst or Skittles versus chocolate. Question 15. Do you watch or listen to anything while you craft? If yes, what? I used to love to binge watch Netflix shows while I crafted, but since I do videos a lot now, I can't have that kind of stuff on in the background. Um, and I really can't pay attention to both things at once. Now, if I do do a video where I'm doing a voiceover and I'm cutting out any audio in the room, Right now, I listen to the Hamilton soundtrack on constant repeat. Question 16. What is your biggest craft purchase regret? Well, I've had a lot of them, but I will usually give it away. But the thing that I keep around for some reason, because I always swear I'm going to use it, is my Zutter Bind It All. Sorry to those of you who love your cinch or your Zutter Bind It All, but I just cannot figure that thing out. Question 17. What is your most favorite craft purchase? For me, it has to be my cuddle bug. I still use this die cutter to this day. I probably bought it 13 years ago when it first came out, and I'm super bummed that it got discontinued. I do have a backup Sizzix, but I really do prefer the original. And the fact that when it came out, it had embossing folders that you could use, that was like amazing to me. Question 18. If you could use only one adhesive for your crafty projects, what would you choose? This item is another one of my most favorite ever purchases, and it is the Scotch ATG gun. Now, it's kind of big and bulky, but I think in the long run, you get used to it and you save so much on adhesive. Question 19. If you could only use products from one company for the next month, which would you choose? Well, since I'm a card maker and I love pattern paper, but I also like some stamps and die cuts, I would probably go with Echo Park. They always have cute lines and they have coordinating stamps and dies if you want them. Question 20. Who is one crafter that you watch or follow that you think needs some more love from the crafty community? So when I think of this question, I am thinking of YouTubers who maybe don't have a huge following yet. You know, I follow plenty of crafty YouTubers who have 10, 20, 40, 100,000 followers. But someone besides my oh so inspired collaboration team, because let me tell you, each one of them is fantastic and puts their heart into their work. And we will be back on the 15th for another video hop. But besides them, I really enjoy watching, I hope I get his name right, JC Gaspar, I think is the name of the YouTube channel. He makes just stunningly gorgeous cards and it's fun to watch him create. I will link his channel again under question number 20 in the description box below. I know this was 20 crafty questions, but there is a bonus question that we can answer. And since we just talked about our favorite crafty YouTuber, question number 21, or the bonus question is, what is a non-crafty channel that you love to watch? For me, that would have to be Squirmy and Grubs. They are a newly engaged, interabled couple 
that share their life and their travels here on YouTube. I hope you will check them out. Again, they are also linked below. Well, that concludes my question and answer video for the 20 crafty questions tag. Please don't forget to go check out all the other YouTubers who are doing this today. You can click on the hashtag in the description box below. And speaking of hashtags, we would love for you to share a video and answer the questions as well. All the information is in the description box on how you can join us. 